hey guys welcome to our channel please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from almighty java in this video we will see how to integrate the under tau web server in spring boot but before that let's see what is the under tau web server under tau is a web server written in java and developed by red hat managed and sponsored by jboss it is lightweight web server and it consists of two core jar packages so it can load a web application in less than 10 mb of memory it supports serverlet 3.1 it supports websocket to meet the huge number of clients for a web application so websocket is a computer communication protocol which means websockets provide persistent connections between a client and server that both parties can use to start sending data at any time the client establish a websocket connection through a process known as the websocket handshake this process starts with the client sending a regular http request to the server it supports nesting so it does not need containers it just needs api to build web servers quickly now let's see how to integrate the undertow web server in the spring boot here i'm going to show you using one of my existing project so let's open our github page click on the repositories here search for the book rest api project see here is the project let's download this project as a zip file project downloaded successfully now let's import the downloaded project so here i am importing as a maven project project imported successfully let's run this project server started successfully as you can see project is running on 8081 port open readme md file for the sample request let's try to execute the get request see it is working properly and as a response it is returning one book object let's open the pom xml file as you can see here we have not imported any dependency for the tomcat that means by default spring boot supports tomcat and it is a part of starter web dependency even in the console log you can see tomcat started so like i said earlier spring boot by default supports tomcat and it came as part of the web starter dependency so first let's see how to exclude the tomcat from the web starter dependency that we can achieve using the exclusion tag let's add the exclusion related code So as per this code now it will not download the tomcat jar file for this project because we excluded now let's see what is the syntax for the undertow dependency let's search for the spring boot starter undertow here you can see there are so many suggestions are coming let's open the maven repository and spring boot docs page see here is the dependency undertow also a starter dependency that means like tomcat and jetty spring boot supports for the undertow web server for more detail you can refer to this spring boot documentation page i will paste this url as part of the description let's copy this dependency because we added a new dependency so let's stop the server dependency downloading starts dependency downloaded successfully now let's start the server server started successfully now instead of tomcat it is showing the undertow and benefits of undertow i already covered at starting of this video As you can see with spring boot everything is so simple let's check the get request still working or not see it is working same as earlier let's stop the server i hope you learned something from this video that's it for this video please like and share this video subscribe our channel thanks for watching